Steve Holman, the longtime voice of the Atlanta Hawks. Hell, this is just the, the voice of basketball you let me tell it. <laughs> I, I've been in, listening to you for 30 years. Uh, that's that's it, my 30th um, year. Now, we're going into another year with the Atlanta Hawks right now. Right. Last year, we were very banged up, especially when it comes right. to the big men. Tell me, based upon your 30 years of experience uh, with the Hawks, what do you think, when, we, when you're looking at this team going forward, some of the areas we have to improve in order to get this ball club to where we're trying to go? Well, I, I think, uh, as, as Coach Bud has said the last few days, you know, he wants to work on defense. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the offense is going to take care of itself, I think. Mm -hmm. you know, that, and, and I think one of the things this year is really going to be that uh, we're in our second, our second year mm -hmm. of, of that system. Uh, and most of the guys have been here before in the system. And you bring in a guy like Tabo Cephalosha, who's a veteran. He's been around the block. He, he knows, you know, he's going to fit right into this thing. He's, he's buddies with Kyle Corver for when they play together at, uh, in Chicago. So, uh, and Kent Bazemore, I think he's going to be a guy that is going to speak up on people. Uh, I think he's really going to help us. Uh, I know that they're really happy to get him. Uh, and, and I know it's a, it's a name uh, that everybody around town may be saying, well, we don't really know him. Uh, but basketball people know him, and, and he's going to fit right into this uh, into this system. And, and the thing I always I've been telling people is, if you remember last summer, we brought in Paul Millsap and Damari Carroll, and uh, and people were not shaking the earth about it. They were like, well, we don't really know him. But Paul Millsap turns out to be an all star. Damari Carroll, you know what he did for us all year, starting. Uh, you know, I think this is going to be the same type of situation. And of course, bringing Al back into the mix. Uh, after playing only 29 games last year, it's going to be a big help. And, and actually, if, if you look at it that way, uh, us bringing Al Horford back may have been the best signing of any team okay, in the exactly, NBA exactly. Uh, over the summer. So uh, I'm pretty excited, and uh, I think Jeff Teague's going to take another big step forward. Uh, we know what Corver is. We know, you know what he's going to bring to the table. He's going to be the best three-point shooter in the NBA. Yeah, yeah, so, uh, you know, I'm excited, and I kind of like the fact, too, that... Uh, you know, we're kind of flying under the radar uh, yeah. nationally right now yeah. uh, as, as far as the basketball goes. So I think that uh, we were third last year when Al got hurt in the yeah. Eastern Conference. And there's no reason to think that we can't be at least that good again this year. Exactly. Well, Al is coming back, as you mentioned. And a lot of times we have Al playing in that five position, which he'll probably play in that five right. position again. But last year, we didn't have a player on the roster who averaged 10 rebounds a game. Do you, do you think that's a problem we have to alleviate to get this team to where we want? Well, because we, we can't finish defensive possessions yeah. a lot of times. No, I, I, and I think Al was on his way to, to, to doing that. He might have been a 12-rebound guy this time of season. 